Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's uh, Thursday, April 18th, 2024, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So good morning and welcome. I realized I didn't really look at my camera um, position this morning. Anyway, uh, good morning. Thank you for being here. Like I said, my name is Jennifer Cotton. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 21 years now, 22 years now. And um, I do this as a full-time business. So if you see anything you like today, you can probably get it from me. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I already see Julie is here over on YouTube, as well as Lori. Good morning, Lori. Another Lori in Minnesota liked and shared. Thank you, Lori. Um, Pat, good morning. Mary Ann, good morning. Good to see you guys here. Okay, so um, yeah, so I think I said it all. Um, let me remind you here that I will add the timestamps to this video today, later today, um, on YouTube. YouTube only, and that will allow you to skip around and watch the parts of the video that you want to watch. Or if you want to see a card again, you can go straight to that part. Um, I will add the link up here tomorrow to take you straight to my blog, which is stamptherapist.com. Okay, let me remove that. Back to your comments. Tina, good morning to you. Rosemary, good morning from rainy Long Island. It's going to be rainy here later today. Um, here in Texas, I'm in Midlothian and well, I don't know if it's going to rain exactly in my city, but it's like scattered rain this afternoon, but out by the evening, the rainiest day is going to be Saturday when I have my in-person class. <laughs> so that will be interesting for us. Um, let's see, uh, V good morning in Southern California, Julie, thanks for sharing, uh, Janie, good morning to you. Landa, good morning. Sherry, good morning. Thank you for sharing. And Tina, good morning in Maryland. Also over here. Sue, good morning to you. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. And Lisa, good morning. And Tommy, good morning. All right. Good to see everybody. Darlin in Florida, good morning to you. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys about my upcoming events. I have lots of events that people can take all over the United States. They're all offered to go, which means I mail you the packet. You use your stamps and ink at home and the paper we've cut for you, the class packets we prepped, kind of like this, and um, PDF tutorials, and you complete them at home. But some are offered in person. So the next four I'm going to talk about are offered in person every single month. Card class, scrapbook class, stamp stack, and sampler. All of my classes are going to include the PDF. Oh, wrong screen. Sorry. The PDF tutorial with detailed written instructions and all your measurements. We cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible unless otherwise stated in the class description when you sign up. Um, you do cut your own designer paper and kit components if those are included with the class. You can, anyone in the world can get the tutorials only and anyone in the United States can take the classes, whether to go or in person. Um, they're all offered to go, only some are offered in person. So the four monthly classes, like I mentioned already, are card, scrapbook, stamp a stack and sampler. They are this Saturday, um, the 20th. And... Mm. So the first two, card and scrapbook, we're making four cards for $20, free with a $20 order, with the cutest cows and Enduring Beauty bundles. And guess what? Those are the cards I'm going to make on today's video. So as you come on this video, please make sure you say hi, make a comment. You'll be entered to win by doing that, the, two, the three cards I'm going to make today. And I'll show you the fourth card that's part of card class. Um, so those are the cards I'm making today. As you come on, say hi, even on replay, even on YouTube, even on Facebook, even on the comments down in YouTube after replay, everything gets you entered. If you share the video, make sure you comment that you shared so you can get entered a second time. So anyway, my card class, I have two spots left and it's, uh, you can come in person or take it to go. Shipping is separate. 
$20 free with a $20 order. And yeah, that's what it is. Okay. And I think I said that in person or to go scrapbook class. We make three 12 by 12 pages. I have one packet left um, for $20 free with a $20 order. Direction do I need to move? Um, this month we're making two pages for Mother's Day, but you can just simply leave off Happy Mother's Day and you have two generic feminine pages. Um, and then we'll make one page with the ice cream stuff. So birthday or whatever theme you want to make that. And then next month we'll make page two of that one and two more. Sorry, I don't know what my spacing is today. Two more new pages. So I have one scrapbook packet left. And that is $20 free with a $20 order. So if you want info on that, let me know. I'll put those over there because I'm going to type the instructions today. Um, and my, my desk is over there. That's where I usually sit and do that kind of work. Okay. Um, next up, sampler class. So I wish I had this sampler here to show you, but I don't. But it is, in my opinion, super cute with the tool bundle. Um, tr trusty tools. You get a free half pack of trusty toolbox designer series paper, which is retired, plus over $20 in merchandise. It's a 12 by 12 framed piece of art. Um, so it would look great in any craft room, of course, or in the garage, or if you happen to be the tool person in your household. Uh, it's just super cute. It doesn't say dad or anything specific like that no words. It's just all cute tool images. So that is a 12 by 12 sampler, something like this, but that's obviously not the one we're making this month. And you can frame it like the one, oh my goodness, that I have on the wall right there in a 12 by 12 shadow box. Uh, okay. So that class is $37 or $35 for club members. So it's too late to join club this month, but you can still, um, uh, what am I trying to say? You can still sign up for the class. So 35 for club members, 37 for the class. And of course, shipping is separate. Okay. And then last is my sampler class. And Landa still has those samples, but I have the th three of the four that I made last week on the live. So if you want to go back and watch that video, you can see me make the sampler. I mean, the stamp of stack cards. You make 12 cards this month, four designs, three of each. And I have two left. These are the designs, except for the fourth one that is missing. Two of them are fun folds, landas, cuts, die cuts, punches, and embosses everything possible. All these little sprigs, they're die cut for you. Um, and then there was this one and one more card that's actually technically a, I think it's a fun fold as well. Just a little simpler than these two fun folds. So I guess there's three fun folds this month. Anyway. If you have any questions or want to sign up for these classes, let me know. Um, you will have to click the link and register, but again, I have limited quantities. So let me know if you need the link. And if more people sign up than needed, I will refund and let you know. Um, let's see. I got some names I can't see. Oh, Cindy in Germany. I'm glad you get, you're getting to watch, even though you're in Germany. It says good afternoon. I was going to say, what time is it there, Cindy? Um, and thanks for sharing. Cindy here that's here in Texas, good morning to you. Thanks for sharing. Marsha in Wisconsin. Sue, cloudy, Green Bay, Wisconsin, out for a walk while the weather was nice. Very smart, very smart. Four o'clock in Germany, everybody. Four in the afternoon, and it's 9 a.m. here in Texas. Um. You have a tool sampler available. I do have two left. No, one left. Um, Tina, one um, for thirty-seven dollars. So let me write you down. I'll need to <laughs> looking for my pen. Unless you're on my email list already and you're able to sign, go ahead and grab that link and sign up, or you can go over to my VIP Facebook group and sign up. But um, otherwise. I uh, will write your name down and get you that link after this video, if you're still interested. Um, okay, so those are the four monthly classes that happen every single month. So if you missed it this month or you do miss it, you can sign up next month for card, scrapbook, stamp a stack, and sampler. 
Um, Sampler and Stamp Stack, of course, are the subscription clubs you can join. You can also join Card and Scrapbook Club, they're ordering clubs. So any questions on any of that, let me know. Also, really a good idea to sign up for my email newsletter, which the link is up here in Facebook, down here in YouTube right now. And that way you'll get those notifications. I'll be sending out an email at one o'clock today, all about this video. And in the bottom, I put all the links to all of my available classes. Okay. Um, next up is the heartfelt hellos and bird's eye view stamp. I mean, class I'm doing with, with, um, um, uh, Alejandra Gomez. Sorry. I'm like, who is it with Alejandra Gomez? And here is a sneak peek, but don't worry. I have the real cards right here. So this is an at home class to go only half designed by Alejandra Gomez which is my uh, teammate, half designed by me. We are using the bird's eye view stamp set for the images and your greetings are from heartfelt hellos. This set is retired, ignore that. It's retired, no longer available, but Allie and I have extras. So um, you can get that stamp set free when you register for this class. You just have to add it on. There's a little button there to add it on limited quantities while supplies last. You're going to make eight cards, eight different designs. We cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible. T PDF tutorial, mail it to you, and you complete it at home. Of course, the class is going to include lots of product with your fee. And you need to register. This is a fast one. April 26th is the deadline. Usually, I give you more time to sign up for stuff than that. But April 26th is the deadline, and then they'll be mailed by May 8th. So, Look at these adorable cards that you're going to make with this class. Oh my gosh, so cute. You got Mother's Day and Father's Day in there, even if it's too late for Mother's Day, although I don't think it is. Um, it's adorable. And of course, you can change the greetings. So register now for these for this class. The link has been put out there. It's in my VIP group. It's in the emails and it'll be in the one o'clock email or ask me for the link. And um, the free stamp set is while supplies last. Okay. Janet in sunny North Carolina. Um, okay, Tina, I'm going to send you that link after the video. Thank you, Tina. I know those cards. I agree. Those cards are so cute. Um, you can see that like we use some retiring designer paper and stuff. You're going to, y'all will get uh, a partial pack of that in your class fee as well, as well as a bunch of other stuff. Um, okay. Annual catalog celebration. That is my annual catalog kickoff that I am hosting on June 8th in person here in DeSoto, Texas, or to go. And so anyone can take it. You'll make at least eight projects using at least four new bundles, actually exactly four new, well, bundles or suites of product. And um, there'll be a Facebook group so you can access the, the extra stuff if you take it to go. If you come in person, I will have my BOGO sale of my recently retired merchandise. Um, you'll get to, of course, stamp with lots of new product. There'll be two stamping demonstrations with new product, as well as two display stampers that will make samples with new product. And so you'll get to access all that online if you cannot attend in person. But of course, if you're local, in person is the best. Um, door prize entry, everybody gets entered into the door prize unless you just take tutorials only, which of course is available as well. And optional card swap. So, um, we are going to use labeled with love bundle, the flowers of beauty and unbounded love bundle. That's a sweet sketched butterflies bundle and thoughtful wishes bundle. So sign up for that by June 2nd. And then the event is June 8th or mailed the Monday after any questions on that. Let me know. Um, next slide, next up is the spotlight on nature bingo. So this is a bingo class. These are all new products and I actually have them boxed up right now. My new stuff is boxed up, so I don't have the things to show you, but if you're on my email list, you've seen a picture of spotlight on nature because I've emailed it out. Um, anyway, and on the kickoff, 
I can't order all of that new stuff yet. Just some of it. But anyway, you're going to make four or more projects with the Spotlight on Nature bundle. You're going to come on Zoom and play bingo for a chance to win some door prizes. And you're going to get to stamp along with me at the end if you choose. Um, so we do. We're on Zoom. We get to visit with each other, interact. It's um, it's my favorite virtual event that I do because we actually, it's not like a Facebook Live where I'm reading your comments and commenting on them. You unmute yourself and, and comment. <laughs> and so we can talk with each other and all that stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Um, so that one is on May 30th. I'm reading. I have a typo here. Anyway, it's May 30th at 6.30 p.m. Central on Zoom, and you need to register by May 19th. Okay, coming soon, paper share party. Yes, I am doing a paper share and a ribbon share for the new catalog. So patiently wait for my link to come out to register for that. Um, and then you can add on the party if you like, where we, Alejandra and I, will do make and takes for you with all of the new designer papers. There'll be a Facebook party. We'll have live videos during that party. And um, you will get, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So anyway, that's coming as well. Uh, a stamp camp with Genevieve Co. and me. Genevieve Co. lives in Canada. So if you live in Canada, you can take this class as well. Everything else I offer is only in the U.S. But Jen and Jen stamp camp is offered in Canada um, through her. So any questions on that, let me know. Genevieve already has her registration open. I don't yet because I'm slow in setting up links. And then we will have retreats in a box coming in June and October. And in-person retreats will be available at those dates as well. We have in-person retreats in, in uh, oh, sorry, I've said that wrong. So June and October are in-person, but they're full. Let me get my facts straight. But um, next year, we'll have March and August in-person retreats available for people to register for. Okay. Uh, next up is the cruise. I do a crafting cruise every year with my retreat partner, April McCrite. And next year, we are going to Har um, Harmony. It is Harmony of the Seas. Out of Galveston, Texas, we're going to Roatan, Honduras, Costa Maya, Mexico, and Cozumel, Mexico. These are some pictures of this year's cruise. And 2025 is January 26th through February 2nd. And these are the gifts everybody received, the people, <laughs> the fun, the food. There's so much food. It's all free. Um, swaps, which is optional, or the bag that they received this year, half a table, for you to craft on during the week, plus separate class tables. Um, so that retreat, or that is a retreat, but on a cruise ship. You can bring anyone you like, and they will get to, <laughs> hey, Cindy, no problem. Um, uh, they don't have to pay the crafting portion. They will get our group rate, though. So children, relatives, friends, spouses, it doesn't matter who it is. They can come along with you and get our group rate and not have to participate in the crafting portion. And then you get to go down to that crafting room and get a little break <laughs> while they go swimming and watching shows and doing whatever they want to do. Um, we have that includes six full classes, like one class might be eight cards. Another class might be some scrapbook pages or an album. Six full classes are included with your fee. Any questions on any of this? Let me know. 1 p.m. Central email will go out with links to all this stuff. So make sure you're signed up for my email newsletter. Okay. Um, next up is like specials and news from Stampin' Up. So of course it's still the same old news because we're in the retiring month. So make sure you get whatever you want from these two catalogs that are retiring now. Now's the time. These catalogs are uh, have huge lists of things that are going away and they are while supplies last. I've emailed these lists out. Um, links to these lists. I just realized there's not a, a link in my email going out today. So I'll try to add that. If I remember, I'm writing a note. Um, 
but anyway, I've sent it out multiple times. It's also over on my blog, stamptherapist.com. But tons of stuff is selling out, especially stamp sets. If there are any stamps you've been like, waiting on and not sure about and on the fence about, get them now because they're selling out. Other stuff has sold out as well. So um, that goes for these two books. And then May 1st, so that'll be through April 30th, April 30th, May 1st, this book starts. Have you received yours yet? I've mailed them out to most of my long distance customers through Stampin' Up! And a lot of them have received theirs. Um, if you didn't yet, ask me and I'll see if I sent you one so you'll know it's coming. And if not, I can send it as long as you've purchased from me in the last six months. If not, there's a small fee that covers the cost for me. And then you get that back if you place an order. Um, or, or if you're local, they're ready for pickup and I'll bring them Saturday, of course, because we're in person Saturday. Okay, so it's gorgeous inside and out. Tons of new product in there. Now, demonstrators can order a lot of that product early. That's why I have a box of new product over here. And if you want to get that new product early, you can do that by um, joining my team. And then anyone who joins, it's 90, it's always $99. It's always free shipping. It's always pick 125 of anything you want. But currently that will include the retiring stuff, the sale retiring stuff, and the new stuff that we can pre-order. So it's all perks, no negatives. I have a whole sheet on my uh, blog that talks about the perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Look how tiny that font is, including Stampin' Up! perks like your discount and my team perks. So any questions, let me know. All right. <laughs> Marianne says, joining is the, let me read this, best, 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 is that three times option? So true. It is the best value for anyone's money. Um, hey, Ro, good morning. Finally up early enough <laughs> to get your complete live. That's hilarious. I do have to get up super early to be on live at 9 a.m., y'all. It's a lot. Um, let me see who's on Facebook over here. Uh, Judy, good morning to you. And who else did I see? Uh, Tira, good morning. Judy and Tira. Okay. Um, let me see. Running late. Cindy, Mary Jo, good morning to you. Dana, good morning. Good to see you. And uh, Pat also says, yes, joining is the best. <laughs> These are obviously team members who are encouraging everybody to join <laughs> Stampin' Up. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see. I'm going to read my little notes. Last chance sale. Oh, my special. I have an online ordering special, of course, I'll tell you about. Um, oh, don't forget about our online exclusives. Just go to my online store, jennifers.stampinup.net, or just go to, which is You'll see it when I put the camera down or just go to um, my blog and then click shop now and click the online exclusives category. None of those products are in a catalog. You're only going to find them online. Technically, some of them are right now, but they won't be in May. But anyway, there's a lot of new products there that are only found online and they're awesome. Um, Okay, yeah, I think I said everything, so I'm going to point the camera down. I am going to tell you about my online order special, of course, as well as show you a card I received in the mail. Okay, so here we go. And, and I may, I'm going to have to adjust this camera because it's I uh, was behind this. I, I wasn't behind this morning, but somehow I forgot to hook this camera up until the last minute, and so I didn't have time to adjust it. Anyway. Um, the, okay, hold on, Kylie, I know the answer to this. Let me look in my book. I think it's the one, not the birdhouse, but the same one on that same page right here. Hold on. Yes, Country Flowers is the Jen and Jen stamp camp. Country Flowers. Um, and then I'm doing a class that you can add on with Country Birdhouse, and she's doing a class you can add on with the airplane stamp set, Adventurous Sky. Yeah, I got to get my advertising or my marketing stuff done, um, you know, so I can have all that written down. 
Hey, Corinne, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Jen, good morning to you. And Charlotte, good morning. Okay, so here's a card I received in the mail. This is from a team member. Um, when we had our team meeting, she accidentally forgot her swaps at home. Her name's Dorothy. And so she mailed each of us who were supposed to get one, the swaps in the mail, which was awesome. She technically didn't have to do that. So this is super cute. Plus, it's a really fun fold using that awesome retiring B designer paper, a new die here, the B punch, even the ladybug punch. Actually, that's the ladybug. Maybe this is all ladybug stamp set. Anyway, super cute. Thank you, Dorothy. And a, even a new stamp set. She used a bunch of products here. Okay, so thank you, Dorothy. Um, quick reminder about my online ordering special. When you place an order with me in, what month are we in? April 2024 of $25 or more with my monthly host code, which is right there. You will receive in May a class packet mailed to you to make these four cards. So $25 or more, use this host code right here. And um, that's all, it, literally 25 bucks and you get this whole class packet mailed to you. Um, we'll cut the pieces of ribbon for you. We'll cut the designer paper. We'll die cut this circle. We'll emboss this, et cetera. Um, I've already shown these on a video and talked about those details as well. And we'll cut it and mail it to you for free. No charge on shipping, which I usually charge for shipping because that's not cheap. Um, if that order is $50 or more right now, you're going to receive these brand new, not released to the public yet, a full pack of the Adhesive Back Pearl Trio from the new annual catalog. And my camera is not catching it. I don't know, it is catching the shine, but they look better in person. They're kind of iridescent, shiny on top. Um, I have the colors. Let me see if I can read it on this screen. Oh, it's tiny. Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, and Petunia Pop are the colors of the gems. And there's just a reminder. So use the host code, 25 or more free class packet, 50 or more class packet, plus the pearls. And don't forget always, if you order over one, $150 or more, in addition, uh, uh, don't use the host code. And in addition, you'll get at least $15 in free stuff from Stampin' Up. By the way, that's my ordering website, Jennifer's with an S dot Stampin' Up dot net. Okay, so that's the ordering special. Um, this is the, what is the name of the stamp set? Ooh. Well, let me go back to this graphic. Everyday Details Bundle. <laughs> hey, Hilda, good morning. And thank you, Marianne, by the way. Thank you for saying that. Okay, so today we are going, I'm going to make one card with Enduring Beauty and two cards with Cutest Cow, and I'll show you the fourth card from Enduring Beauty. This is my card class for this month, which is, um, uh, $20 or free with a $20 order. So I'm going to grab these dies here. Huh. This is, I have it all the stuff over there in a clasp tub. So it's going to be a little more whatever for me to get into all this. These are the Enduring Beauty dies. I have done a video already with Enduring Beauty. So this will be a refresher if you saw that one on how to use the stencils, which are temporarily not orderable. That happened like yesterday or something, or that's when I saw it. So you cannot get the stencils right now. They're coming back, don't worry. Um, here are the dies for Enduring Beauty. Okay, so Cutest Cows is photopolymer. It has a bunch of different cows you can make. <laughs> the heads are separate from the bodies. There is a punch, the Cutest Cows Builder Punch which will punch out one of the cow, no, this one, one of the cow bodies that's just standing straight, facing right. Um, two of the cow heads, one is winking, one is not. The horns, which I'm going to show you this today, a spot or nose, which I'll show you that today as well. Thank you, Mary Ann, for explaining that to me. 
and the tail and hair. So I'll explain the punch when we get to it, but you can punch out all those pieces with the punch stamp set. Um, then there's a sitting down body that's facing to the right. There's a, another standing body with udders that's facing left and kicking up one of her front feet like she's taking a step. Um, there's another head that does not fit the punch that has little horns and uh, it's sort of facing to the right side angle. Not full right, just looking to the right and uh, closed eyes and smiling. There's a little chick and a little rooster, a little baby chick, or I guess that's a baby chick, like a tiny one. Um, there is a milk can, a little like daisy style flower, another three larger three flower image of daisies. These are all outlined, so they would need to be colored in if you choose to. Um, a grass image, a cowbell image. Um, Okay, then we have the two horns. It's one stamp image that's going to fit on that punched piece. I'll show you today. Eyes that are just, oh yeah, just eyes with eyebrows and the snout like two nostrils and a side smile. Those are for the punched out pieces. Again, I'm going to show you today. Okay, so this is 24 stamps. And then we have words. The little things you do make such a big difference. Holy cow, exclamation mark. Um, congratulations, exclamation mark. Who, uh, what's moo with you? Question mark. Milk it for all it's worth, exclamation mark. Thank you. It's your special day. This is a really versatile set. Now the bundle pricing is going away, so get that bundle now. Unfortunately, you can't get the bundle pricing for Enduring Beauty right now because the stencils are not available temporarily. Nobody panic. But, um, you can't, so you won't be able to get the bundle pricing. Um, May 6th is when they're estimated to come back, unless they come back sooner. Always keep watch. Um, but you can get the stamp set and dies right now and then get the stencils later because probably the bundle pricing is not going to come back. Okay. I was looking at that on my computer and I got distracted. Okay, so Enduring Beauty, I've shown this on a video before, so I won't go into all the detail about the product, but there's just basically a big, large flower image. Someone told me they look like poppies to them. Um, I don't know if they're poppies, but it's flowers, leaves. There's like three big flowers, some side flowers, tons of leaves, and then a die that cuts those out. There's a little bitty like flower buds. I guess is what those are, and a filler for those. They're, they're tiny, three buds and three filler. I have never used that one because I don't really understand how to use it on here, but that's just me. Um, and then lots of words. It's always been you. Love endures all things. You mean so much to so many. Holding you close in my heart and embrace the beauty of you. And it's a mixed font, a real pretty cursive and all caps. Uh, then in the dies, there's 10 dies. So the one that cuts that out, a really awesome label die that fits a lot of the words. It's, it's a rectangle pierced and it has decorative corners and it fits basically four of the words. It just doesn't fit. It's always been you. Um, and then you have all these leaves and flowers that are standalone dies. Okay, so that is the bundle for that bundle. And I'm going to start no, I'm going to do that card last, actually. I'm going to start with the cutest cows for card one. So, like I said, I may, I, not may, I will have to dig for the stamps I need in a container over here. Actually, I'll probably move it over here. But anyway, let me grab the supplies. So this is what card class looks like. This is the actual packet. Landa brought these to me yesterday. So this is how... All of my classes might be packaged like we put card class in a baggie. We put some of our classes, actually, they all go in baggies, but they might be in a larger cellophane bag because you're getting designer paper and ribbon and embellishments. Card class is real simple. We cut everything for you. So this is what it literally, this is the packet. You get the gems in there that you need for that card, the designer paper, the card base. Here we have the ribbon, the gems, the pieces of cardstock you need. 
the card base. Here's this one. So die cut pieces, designer paper, card base. And in this one, Landa has punched for you all of the cowl pieces you'll need. And um, obviously die cut some labels and stuff there. Designer paper embossed this piece. I can't see it now, but I'm going to make that card today. Okay, so that is what your class packet looks like. Thank you, Landa. Also, Karen cuts for me as well. She packages up just as good. All my helpers know how we like it. So that's how your stuff is going to be. Okay, so I'm going to make this card first, this petal pink cow card. Okay. <laughs> hey, Debbie in work, at work in Irving. Good to see you. Anemones. Is that the flower? Is that the name of the flower, uh, Janet? Anemones. Anemones. <laughs> hey, Linda, good morning. Get your house chores done. No problem. Diane, good morning. And let me see if I missed somebody over here. Oh, yes, Carmen, good morning. Okay, so card base. This is card number one. Card one, card one. Um, card base is five and a half by eight and a half. You take your eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut it in half. You'll get two cards out of one piece. They'll fit into the invitation size envelope. By the way, if you want to win these cards today, make sure you comment on this video like everybody's doing, even on replay. Here's the invitation size envelope. It's a perfect fit. We sell these in the white, super high quality curved edges here, just super nice envelopes. Um, and vanilla, I believe we still sell vanilla. <laughs> I'm going to get myself confused on what's retiring. Um, anyway, so measuring is easy. You can cut your eight and a half by 11 and half the other direction and fold it this way as well. And it still fits. Okay. But my favorite are the clear envelopes, which by the way, are not getting as much of a price increase. So bonus there. Now, see, if Jennifer was packaging your class, though, honestly, your cow pieces would be loose like this because I packaged this for myself and they would be loose in here. But Landa puts them in a separate bag for you. <laughs> um, either way works, but the little separate bag keeps them all right there for you. So here's all the pieces that we're going to pre-punch for you for this card. Right there. Then... Lana's probably watching this cringing at me. <laughs> okay, then my next layer for this card is petal pink. I put the measurements for all of the cards I make on the video on the blog, stamptherapist.com at 11 a.m. Central. So petal pink is the next layer. Then these two pieces here, uh, you have the designer paper, which is Zoo Crew. So this is retiring. It is while supplies last. If it sold out since yesterday, I didn't look yet. Um, on the back of every Zoo Crew 12 by 12 sheet is animals doing stuff. And on the other side is just black and white designs that don't necessarily have anything to do with animals. So this is white with little black flowers drawn all over it. Tiny, tiny ones. Some of them have leaves, some don't. And you could color those in. They're just outline flowers. However, I'm not going to color them in. Okay, so let me look at my sample. Yeah, I'm double checking. So if this black piece, of, I'm trying to say is we want the little border to show all the way around. The little pink border when we glue these down. So one is going to overlap the other. Either this black strip of cardstock, it's five and a fourth inches tall by one and something wide at the measurements on the blog. And it's been embossed with the painted texture embossing folder. Either that's going to overlap your white but designer paper, but the way I did it is the designer paper overlaps the black. And so it'll form that front of a card, but it won't, you won't have a gap. Okay, this is the painted texture embossing folder. It's going to go to online only, which means technically, it means while supplies last, so you just might want to get it now if you don't have it. It's an amazing folder that works for so much stuff. 
So in this case, I'm doing cows, milk, ice cream. I think it's an ice cream type texture. So that's why I used it. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, we have the largest circle from Stylish Shapes dies, pre die cut in basic white. We also have the sort of medium banner from Stylish Shapes Dies pre die cut. And then this little thing here, it's like uh, an, not an arrow, it's a, a label from all that dies. It's this one right here where it looks like it's pointing on the on one side and a banner on the other. So it's, I guess, an arrow. I don't know if there's another word for that. I'm going to make sure real quick. I think this is retiring. Stampin' Up signed me out. Actually, I don't think Stampin' Up signs me out. I think it's my computer, but I get signed out a lot. <laughs> I'm going to log back in real quick and see if all that is retiring because I can't remember. And that's the easiest way. Yes, these dies are retiring. So if you don't own them, Now's the time. They're amazing. They kept, they started out with like a masculine stamp set, and that's still in the book currently. And it's great, but you don't need any stamps to go with this. You got these little argyles, all these shapes, oval circles, banners. This is one of the ones I use the most, this label right here. It's beveled when you cut it. And this guy right here is also beveled, if you can see the little edges there. Um, okay, so that's where that came from. Those are all basic white. I'm going to stamp on those. And then for the cow, you have a white body and a black body, two black spots, the pink, which is the same exact punch, but that's going to be the nose and mouth, the horns in basic white. This is petal pink, sorry, petal pink, nose and mouth, um, mm, horns in white, face in white. And then two black things that look perfectly like a little tulip, by the way, if you need a tulip punch. However, they are uh, for the tail to make the, they're for the tail and the hair on the top of the head. Okay, those are in black. That's all going to be done for you. So from this punch right here. And just to give scale, I know um, for my blind customers, one and a fourth inches tall on the body by about one and three fourths uh, body to tail, front to tail, one, what did I say? One and a fourth by one and three fourths. And then the little head is right at one inch tall. Okay, so we are, I don't even know what to do first, but let me just stamp the cow first. I just need to stamp the face, the mouth and the horns. And if you had, like, we pre-punched this in case people don't own the stuff. But if you owned the bundle, like, with the punch, you could just um, stamp first and then punch. See, I've got my class thing here. I've got all the ink pads. We're going to stamp in black. I'm actually going to use this black one, though. Um, I've got the little guides here, which actually I'll need that later. So let me pull that out the stencils. Anyway, right now I want, let me look at my card, uh, horns, face, holy cow, congratulations, milk it for all it's worth, <laughs> uh, horns, the mouth, where's that, did I pull that out, yes, okay, we'll see if I got it all. All right, so I'm going to use my other Memento Black that I showed y'all in another video how I made this. So if you need to know that video, actually, April 4th at 56 minutes and 39 seconds. April 4th, 56 minutes, 39 seconds. I'll show you that. Okay, I'm trying to use this as much as I can because I'm testing it. Okay, so here's the horns. It's two little bitty horns. We're going to tap, tap, tap and stamp them in the ray, you know, pointing up sections of this horn punch, punched out piece. 
Now, again, you could stamp first and then punch. Face. The, sorry. I keep thinking these are eyes, but the nostrils and mouth go on the petal pink, which also can be a spot. And by the way, I'm tapping very gently on this Memento ink pad. See, now it looks like a nose. <laughs> Face. That's what I forgot to pull out. I knew I was missing something. This one is, here it is. So it's two eyes and eyebrows. They go obviously toward the top here. Actually, let me put this little hair here so I can make sure I don't stamp too high. I'm not going to glue it down yet, just for placement. two eyebrows and eyes. Okay, so the cow should be all stamped up. Now let me stamp on these. On this circle, I'm going to add Hold on, I'm going to look at something in Landis packet real quick. Just a Okay, yes. So, in this with this yellow card, ah, you have a strip of white. You're going to pull that out for this card to get this little cowbell. Side note for if you're actually taking this class. Okay. Um, on this largest basic white circle, we're going to stamp holy cow down here on the bottom left. And then on the longer banner, Milk it for all it's worth. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to stamp something else on the circle as well. And on the little arrow thing, I want it pointing to the right. So you could go either direction, but right. And congratulations. These stamps, like I said, are photopolymer. So it does make it easy to do all this stuff after you die cut. Um... Okay, I forgot. I'm going to stamp some milk cans on this circle. I actually want to assemble my cow first so I can see where to stamp them. Okay, so got my silicone sheet here. Oh, yeah. So we have a black body and a white body for the cow. So we are going to cut off. We're going to do a little nail trimming here and cut off a tiny, tiny sliver from the bottom of the leg of the white punched cow. They look like this. I went a little bigger on one of them. That's what you cut off. When you glue this, these two together, now you'll have the, the, um, like hooves. This one is a little off, so let me just, you don't want to go crazy to keep trimming. <laughs> and then I'm going to snip off this tail, but Landa said she snipped off the tail for y'all already on the black one. Because that's how good she is. Can we see this or not? You get the idea, right? You see the black, there we go, hoops. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that's all the surgery we have to do on this one. So let me get this trash on. Hey, Candy, yay. Candy says, finally get to watch a video. It's been a while. Okay, so I'm going to attach, I'm just going to put this together like it's not anything special instructions on assembling the cow. But... I will attach this black and white together. Just using regular adhesive, I do have my silicone sheet here to help me with um, excess adhesive not getting on my work area. Attach the little muzzle, nose, mouth thing flat. See? So cute. Attach the hair. 
which is basic black flat. It's just right at the top center of the head. And then I'll put some adhesive on the bottom of the head and put it on the body there at an angle. Then just need to add, I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the top of the head for the horns. And then I have the two spots and the, what's the wrong side? I don't know if it matters. Anyway, the um, little poof for the tail. Now I'm going to add one other thing to this cow. Adjust the spots however you like. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Yes, Sherry, exactly. Landa is the best uh, pet. Yes. Okay, so we're going to give her a cowbell. You're going to stamp it on that piece of white, which where's mine? Yep, see, I put mine in here as well for my sample packet. Um, so just use a little corner, stamp it. I'm going to color it in with Stampin' Blends. I'm going to use, here's all the blends and stuff for this class. Um, Smoky Slate. Smoky Slate. And I'll just do dark on these couple of little lines on the bell. Here are these readers. And light on the whole thing. Just using the fine point, I stamped in Memento Black, which is water-based, which is what you want to do for alcohol markers. Um, it does bleed through. And can cut this out because they don't have the bell on the punch. Um, and it's tiny. This Because you saw, you heard the scale of the cow. So the bell... Bell is tiny. There it is. And I'm going to put that on there flat as well. At the neck, obviously. Okay, there's our cow. Complete. Next. Oh my goodness. Where are the glasses on the ground? Oh. Okay, so now I can use the cow. It's going to go like here on the circle above the word holy cow. Head will be hanging off to the left a little bit. And I want to put a couple of milk cans on the circle kind of behind the cow, but I still want them to show at least some. So you may or may not need to actually use the cow when you stamp those for placement, but I wanted to just to make sure. Because honestly, the first time I just stamped a bunch, I stamped like three. And then I put the card together and they like didn't, <laughs> they weren't placed very well. I thought it'd be better to measure it out. I fixed it, but anyway. Oh, and I'm going to use the same lens, Smoky Slate. And just go in with my dark. So this is like a little milk metal milk can. It has some little detail lines drawn on it. So you can use the dark on those lines. You might want to, I'm just putting the dark on like the bands and the little accent lines stamping up Drew, but you might want it in other places. You know, you do your shadowing how you want to do. With blends, you can always go back and add more and more color. You can uh, keep blending. You can lift it with the color lifter to lighten it. All the stuff. When I add the dark, I always go over it with the light fully to blend it out, which then it gives you a shadow, but not a harsh line. They're just super easy. They're alcohol-based, so they dry quickly, so close them the lid as soon as you're finished using them every time, even during a project. 
and but they just make anyone look artistic because they don't give uh what's the word streaks if you have a streak keep on coloring and it will go away so there's your milk cans it even looks like i did something special right there and gave a little light i didn't it's just how it came out because blends are awesome okay so now i think i can assemble this so and i was just using stamp and seal for everything by the way okay so i think i want to first attach this piece of basic black that's been embossed with painted texture to the right side of this petal pink cardstock we know it's going to be a super skinny border so that's how you place it on there then the designer paper will overlap the black a little bit so skinny border on the left align it with the paper top to bottom the black paper i should say and that's how you do that and this goes on the card base i forgot to mention when i was saying what was in the packet this piece of ribbon here it's petal pink it's from the ribbon duo i think it's called ribbon duo combo pack it's actually bundled with not bundled but sweet sweeted with the zoo crew designer paper um, but it comes with i have it here lemon lime twist i believe and petal pink ribbon two different widths and it's retiring it might even be discounted i'll look real quick i love the stampin up website now because you can just type in the product i put in ribbon duo yep six dollars retiring soon from ten dollars to six dollars there you go um and it says retiring soon so we know yes it is retiring okay now i'm placing the circle on my card flat the big um, three inch basic white circle toward the top, toward the right, but not all the way to either one. Just make the words holy cow straight. Okay, that milk can is now crooked, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'll place dimensionals on the back of my cow. Oh my gosh, Rose says, I was not going to order this set, but living out here in farm country, it would be a perfect set to use at the craft fairs. So next order will uh, will include that cute little cow. Exactly. Definitely good for farm areas. But I don't know what it is about these cows, but it seems like everybody likes them, even if they have nothing, you know, you're not into farming. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on both of these other greetings, which are, which are thin banners. I'm using mini Stampin' Dimensionals, my favorites. They fit everything perfectly, the little stuff and the big stuff. That's why I love them. Plus, you get more, literally more individual dimensionals than the large ones for the same price. And... Um, you can just use more if you want to cover more space. Okay, milk it for all it's worth goes down here toward the bottom right. And then congratulations, I'm going to put like it's pointing down to milk it for all it's worth. So holy cow, congratulations, milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> what situation do you think that could cover? <laughs> Lots, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunny ear bow. Your ribbon will be pre-cut for you in this class just like this. You're going to have two bunny ears, lots of space in between, two tails that are about equal to each other. Uh, each bunny ear is in a different hand, left and right. I have the ears between my forefinger and thumb, so, and all of those fingers are pointing at me. The ribbon has never been twisted or turned at all. It's flat, flat, flat. I'm going to take the right bunny ear, cross it over the left, and then push that right one down into the rabbit hole and then pull. And it won't look cute at first, but you fix it. 
this ribbon is super easy to tie into a bow, by the way. The texture of it, it's like a grow grain and it's petal pink, but it has little white stripes, like very subtle little white um, stripes or lines in it. It's just like a perfectly textured ribbon, in my opinion. Okay, so we're going to mini glue dot that onto the card. So peel back until you see one dot. Fold that paper down so that you can press this flat against the roll. Push into the glue dot and pull it off. This will go on the bottom, I mean, yeah, bottom right side of the circle. Let me trim this ribbon down. Okay, that is it. That's card number one. Card one for today. Super cute. Well, hopefully you think so. Here's the original. This is also part of card class, and you can have a chance to win that card, plus the other two I'm about to make to, um, off today's video by commenting on this video and or sharing it and commenting that you shared because I won't know that you shared it unless you comment. I mean, unless you tell me. Okay. Uh, okay, I think we're good. We're gonna go to card number two. Oh, this goes with it. Card number two. Thank you, Mary Jo. I agree, Martha. Oh my gosh, Candy, thank you. I think I missed some comments here. <laughs> um, Sherry, yes, cows are so cute. Marsha, thank you. Candy, thanks. Uh, Tommy, thank you. Okay, card number two is a um, lemon lolly card base. Lemon lolly. Let me actually fold that in half to get it out of the way. Same size as the last one. They're all going to be the same size. And then... It's, uh, by the way, the last card was portrait. This card's portrait. Okay, then we have that scrap of white for some cows we're going to stamp and punch out. Then we have, this is the Zinnia, flowering Zinnia's designer paper. So it's really versatile. It does have patterns that don't have flowers on it and that do. And, um, so the patterns we're using are, it's uh, old olive with like lemon lime twist diagonal lines on it. So that's going to be a strip that goes over here on the front left of this card. Again, I have the measurements over on the blog, 11 a.m. Central, but this is like a little over two inches. And then this piece here is the one that's like a lemon lime twist with a really light lemon lime twist circle pattern all over it that interlock. So it makes a pattern. Um, but it looks like lemon lolly when you put it next to lemon lolly cardstock. So it's a perfect match here for this card. This is kind of like a three by four or so size. I have the measurements on the blog um, that'll go in the sort of center of the card there. So that's that part. Then I have this um, radiating stitches rectangle. Usually I use it up and down, but this time it will be landscape on this card, even though it's a portrait card. I'm going to find the card, by the way. Okay. Uh, the scrap of white. And then pre die cut for you will have the a, a sun, which is from... Sunny, let me read the correct name. Oh, Bright Skies. Bright Skies dies. So there is a sun die. There's a circle that's stitched to go in the center of the sun to make it more detailed. That's from Bright Skies. Also, these two stitched cloud images in basic white are from Bright Skies. And then I have this little label here from the mini pocket envelope dies which I love that little label. It's a stitched oval. It's just a perfect size for lots of greetings. Okay, 
and that's basic white. I think those are all the pieces, those radiating stitches, by the way, which by the way, so these are an online exclusive. You can only get them online. One of our sort of staple online exclusives that we all use all the time called Basics 3D Embossing Folders just sold out and they're not coming back. So if you haven't bought radiating stitches yet, you don't know, I don't know, nobody knows if it's going to sell out and not come back. These dies, I feel, are a staple you need. There's the, there's three rectangles. It's, there's a heart. There's two circles. They're amazing. They're only found in the online store. And if it's called an online exclusive, it's while supplies last. Okay. Get out my black ink here. So for this card, we're going to stamp. First of all, for the greeting, I have two options for my in-person people. Uh, I'm looking for them. <laughs> What's move with you? And this one right here. Oh, that's what's move with you. And it's your special day. It's your special day. So I think I'll stamp it's your special day on this card. But you could put what's move with you and it would go the opposite direction. Instead of landscape, it would be portrait. And then what do I need for this one? I need both cow heads winking and not winking. I need the body that you punch out and this other body that has the udders. I think that's it. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to stamp on the scrap here as you see them. Oh, I thought that was in screen. This sample here. Um, that's my class sample. We're going to stamp the body. And I believe I did the spacing on purpose because some stuff gets punched out here when you punch out the body. This is the face that is not winking. Eyes open. <laughs> I mean, you can make your card different, but. And I'll punch those two out. Then on this rectangle, actually, let me punch this out so I can have spacing, spatial, whatever. So obviously you just position this exactly where you want it, get everything perfect. You can squeeze a little to hold it in place. And then I like to take two hands and turn it upside down. I'm going to do the same thing with the head, which is up here. Um, the winking face fits in this punch as well. So don't forget that. So see, all that excess stuff gets punched out when you punch these. Okay, so this cow, because it's facing right, will be over here toward the left. And then I'm going to stamp the other cow directly on this landscape direction. Um, radiating stitches piece. So I'm just using the one for an idea, although really you just need this one all the way over to the left and the tail is almost touching or a little bit into the little stitch marks there on the right side. And then this one, I'm just going to stamp the winking face directly onto the card front. I mean, the radiating stitches piece. So tap, tap, tap there and stamp it. She's got the udders and she's winking and this one's that way. Uh, let me grab my greeting, which will be Old Olive. special day on the little oval here. Okay. 
And now I'm just going to add some color to these cowls. Again, I stamped in memento black, so we can color with Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol because memento is water-based. So, and they won't bleed and mix together. That's, anyway, science, you know. Okay, so I'm going to use pecan pie for the brown. Black, dark basic black for the hooves. And petal pink for the nose and udders. I think that's it. Okay, so I colored both cows the same because I'm not that creative. And I did like look up some cows online <laughs> before I figured out how to color these, but anyway, like real cows. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with dark pecan pie. Looking at my sample here. And uh, the face, I'm making pecan. So I just put some dark again on the lines that Stampin' Up! has pre-drawn. And then I'm going to do the whole thing with light. I'm leaving the hair, which is part of the stamp, white. Try to leave that left eyeball white. I'm coloring the winking one that's on the radiating stitches right now. Um, don't color the muzzle, this color. Again, if you have any weirdness, blend it out. That means keep coloring. Okay. And then the spots, she has like one, two, three, four spots. I'm just going to add a little dark at some of the edges just for a little interest and then go in with light on the whole thing. So this is a, these are both white for me, white cows with brown spots. But um, I found online that most of them had brown faces in real life. So that's what I did. Um, her muzzle, go in with dark petal pink on the little nostrils and mouth. Oh, I forgot I did the tail pecan as well. And then light petal pink all over and on the udders. I need to move. I'm going to get my trash can and move some trash that's, I keep, I have it right next to my stomach, so I keep bumping it. Okay. Um, what was I? Oh, the tail. I can't remember. I think I did a little dark at the tip of the tail. It's like a fluffy tail. And then light on the skinny part of the tail and the rest of the fluffy part. And then these little hooves, I'm definitely using the, I always use the fine point of my blends anyway, but definitely on this, I think fine point is the way to go. And it's just dark black, no blending. Okay, so there's that one. And I'm going to color the other cow the exact same way. It just has... Yes, Kim. I literally have a screenshot on my phone of different types of cows that I found online. And it's like cartoon drawings, which is perfect. Sometimes I literally, literally will do that when I am trying to learn how to color or what color something should be for Stampin' Up. I will Google cartoon blank, cartoon cows, cartoon whatever it might be turtles i don't know um because those people that draw cartoons usually use realistic colors but it's a cartoon version does that make sense <laughs> we have these like cartoon cows they're not cartoon i don't know how to describe it but they're drawings of cows versus 
actual pictures, but I also look at pictures of the real animals too. And this is because I don't know things. <laughs> Some people don't need to do that. They actually know the color of a cow or whatever. Type of flower, color of a flower, all the stuff. I'm trying to not color the whites of the eyes there. Just avoid that part. And the tail and spots on the punched out body. When I'm finished, I close the blend good instead of just slipping the lid back on there. You have to hear that snap so it doesn't dry out, which if you leave the lid off or leave it exposed too long, that's our fault. Not, not a bad product. It's alcohol, so it's going to evaporate. Okay, pink on this face. light all over and then the black Oops. all right there we go Okay, we can put this together now. So I will first attach this designer paper, the taller piece, taller and skinnier over on the left side of the card base. This one has about an eighth inch border. So just look for that on the three sides there. Then I think I said this other designer paper will go in the middle, but I'm wrong. It goes over toward the right. It's middle top to bottom about an eighth inch from the right side. It's just layering designer paper. Then the rectangle, which has the one cow stamped on it, I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals. And put, I put about uh, six on here. Many of you would put about 20 on here, whatever, whatever works. This is going to go across the top here. I mean, across the middle here, more higher to the top than the bottom. It's about a half inch or so from the top of the right designer paper. Then I, what I did for this one is put the left side cow's body on here flat. And then Stampin' Dimensionals on the face or head so their faces are kind of rubbing together touching whatever um then there's a slightly larger cloud and a slightly smaller cloud so i'll put the larger cloud up here top left um going down into the cow's, behind the cow's head. And then the next cloud on Stampin' Dimensionals to the right of that one on Dimensionals, like I said. And then the sun will go next, so. And then on the sun, I put the circle on a Stampin' Dimensional. And by the way, I believe this bundle that has the sun and clouds dies in it, the bright skies, I believe it's carrying over, but not the bundle pricing. Okay, so I'm putting the sun on dimensionals, but a little bit behind that right, just a tiny bit behind that right cloud. Right cloud, like I said that weird. And then on my greeting, I'm going to add a little adhesive at the top of the back and a dimensional at the bottom and hang it off 
the edge of this raised up um, white piece here. That is the complete card. We'll enjoy your special day or what did I say? What's moo with you could go right here instead. In the same spot, but different direction. Here's the original. So I just noticed on the original, I had this left cow a lot higher. I don't know which is better. I think I like this right one better. <laughs> He's like floating in the air over here. Thank you, Kim. Joyce, thank you. Hey, G Ann, good morning. And good morning, Joyce, by the way. Yes, the cows are super cute. Okay, so chance to win that just by commenting on the video. I like this one better, but it's too late now. This will be the class sample. Okay, one more card to go. So we're done with cows now. Cows are over. <laughs> and now we're going to do the Enduring Beauty Bundle. So at my class, you'll make two from each. Um, this is that one as a reminder. So we have a basic white card base. Five and a half by eight and a half. Uh, this will be Lance, I mean, portrait, portrait. So put that aside. I have a nice big scrap of basic white cardstock here to stamp those flowers on. Two pieces of designer paper. This is from the perennial lavender designer paper. I'm using the sides. It's one that's like pressed flowers. It's all purples, purple on purple. Uh, very subtle, just like flowery a water like abstract watercolory flowery background and then this is the crumb cake gingham that has the little flex in it like a natural paper um the one the purple is larger to fit the back of the card and the gingham is a little bit smaller for a front rectangle there and measurements 11 a.m central stamptherapist.com Okay, so we're going to focus, and I have, I'm sorry, the label in basic white from this set of dies, which I showed at the beginning, um, for my greeting. We're going to focus on this piece here first. Oh, and there's a piece of ribbon. Sorry, sorry. Sheer silver and white sheer ribbon. Gorgeous. Okay, so I have shown this before, but I'm going to show it again. I have a scrap. I do want scrap paper here for this one, although you could do it on your glass mat, but my customers won't have that at the in-person class. I don't know if I can use this magnet. I did not before, but anyway. Um, okay, so you need a piece of scratch paper. If it has grids on it, even better. Um, I don't remember if I did this the last time. And I don't, it's not really necessary, but I'm just going to mark the four corners here of my white paper. We will be die cutting the flowers out. Therefore, um, if you get a little pin mark on here, it won't mess anything up. Lint stuck to my hand. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just stamp these flowers in black. So it's a really large, it fits on the largest block stamping up cells. Um, I'll show you how to do it in class. I would just take the memento black pad and leave the stamp upside down on the table, twist and tap. This is regular memento, not the one I made myself. You can't be twisting that one and pressing as hard, but you can press hard with this memento pad ink it up really good and if this moves off these lines right now that doesn't matter that's for later I did as I always do label the color for the what I consider the top of the stamp I'm just gonna press oh I forgot we could do this upside down I think it'll be fine let's just see what happens if it sticks yeah it's stuck so let me rub this way as well you can also leave 
the stamp upside down and put your paper down and press. I forgot about that. Okay, so. Now the lines are going to matter. I mean, they may not matter, honestly, but just in case you end up bumping this, you want to know where you had it. So I'm really using these grid lines, but the squares tell me which grid lines. Okay, and then I'm going to tape this down with washi tape. Because we're doing the stenciling now, and this is how you do these stencils. Washi tape, we don't sell it anymore, but it's uh, any kind of removable adhesive will work. Okay, then we have these stencils. So you actually get five stencils in the set that comes with the um, Enduring Beauty. I'm not going to use number five or number, yeah, five. I'm not using number five on this card. Uh, they are numbered right here. It's like uh, the same color as the plastic stencil, and it's raised up, so you have to look real close to find it. But it's a number one there, and I've written the color we're going to use here on it. And then there's number two, and three, and four. This is how I package it for a class so that they don't have to keep wiping these off and cleaning them in between. We just protect it by putting it on this scratch paper. Uh, we protect everything else from it by putting it on the scratch paper. Okay, so um, what you're going to do with stencil number one is first align it with your stamped image. Now, you may notice that my stencil, I'm taping the stencil down, is crooked compared to the paper. That's just how life is. But this is where the stencil goes for all five stencils now. Keep the paper, don't move the paper. There's a little triangle etched out of this stencil. I'm begging you to mark that triangle with a pen, pencil, or um, I would do a pen or pencil on your scratch paper so that when you pick it up, you see the triangle for your next stencil and so on. Because some of these stencils, you think you can align it by sight. You cannot. You can not. This one you can. I promise you there's one you cannot. Um, we might throw our magnet on here just because we can to extra hold that down. Uh, okay, so we're ready to add color. So I've got my blending brushes here. You could use sponges or something else, but blending brushes are going to be your best bet. And for class, I have these labeled what color to use each one in. And that just comes right off with stays on cleaner. Um, okay, so Highland Heather for our first one. We'll grab the Highland Heather ink. This is extremely easy. After you get the technique down, it's extremely easy, but the result is like ma magic, miraculous. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get some Highland Heather ink here. I always like to get it from the four corners instead of the middle, which soaks up my ink for stamping. I'm going to tap this onto the plastic. You never go straight to your cardstock, either go on scratch paper or glass or plastic. I'm going to go on the plastic. And then I'm going to keep swirling all over the whole thing. Get more ink when you need it. Go to the plastic. Go on. Also, a cool thing about the plastic is you can pull this excess ink back from the plastic and have less waste of ink get a lot of waste when you do it on your scratch paper. And it kind of blends more smoothly off of the plastic or glass than paper. Okay, so that's Highland Heather. You can take a peek before you fully remove it and see if it looks good to you. It does, so I'm going to remove it. Also, let me bring it close up because I don't, it looks washed out on the camera, but this is very purple here. Yeah, I don't know what's, I feel like my colors are off today. This is beautiful purple in person. <laughs> okay, move on to stencil number two. It's as simple as that. Let's 
Don't ask me what it is. I'm going to look. Okay, number two, we go to leaves. Now, by the way, if you don't do this in order, you're not going to get arrested. I just find it. Why not just stick to the order, they say, in my opinion. Why not? And also, I hold the stencil when I do this. I don't trust this washi tape with my, you know, rough hand, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I was afraid Lost Lagoon was the wrong color, but it's not. So Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon. Go to those corners there. Tap it on. See that blob? You don't want that on your card. Then roll on. I'm holding the stencil down here with my other hand. Oh, look at me not listening to my own instructions. Um, this Lost Lagoon can go real dark real fast. You don't want this crazy dark, so try to be lighter hand than me. <laughs> don't go heavy with this Lost Lagoon, just for this particular card. It looks beautiful, though. Done. No need to clean it, because we're going to keep it on this scratch paper and have another piece of scratch paper behind it. Okay, next... This gorgeous grape. Number three. So I'm going for the triangle. I didn't say this on the last one, but you do the triangle, but then you fine tune it, of course, because things can happen. This is the one that I promise you it's impossible to align if you don't know where this marking is. It's just impossible. But once you have the marking, you're like, oh, it's so obvious. <laughs> I'm trying to also make sure there's no like white edges showing because obviously that wouldn't be where I'm putting ink. Okay, grape. Corner. Onto the, see, so dark. Onto the plastic first and then onto my card. This, this layer of stenciling is the one that gives me the wow, like, OMG, what did I do? I'm, a, I'm amazing. <laughs> and I'm holding this tight right here. Don't let it go. You could tape it all four and all the stuff, but I'm still going to hold it. Okay, so I definitely want to check this one. Oh, it's so good. But it's lighter right here than everywhere else. So I'll just hit that one flower one more time. It's so good. Let me bring this up. It's like the smoothest coloring I personally could literally never do on my own. By the way, in the new, this is carrying over, but in the new catalog, there's a new one with stencils and I have it too. It's a different type of flower. It's gorgeous. I have that one here. I can't think of the name of it, of course. Okay, the last one I'm doing on this one is the pretty peacock with the, it'll be the leaf detail. This one. So this is super easy. The first time you do it, it might blow your mind a little bit and then you get it. You're like, okay, it makes sense. Super easy. Whew. Oh, and by the way, these colors I'm using, Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. I just took them all from that lavender, perennial lavender designer paper. So there was no, oh, what green should I use? Which for me is a thing. Pick up some of this too. Um, Stampin' Up! told me, <laughs> which is how I like it. It looks good, but I'm very light on a couple of leaves over on this side. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. 
Y'all are finished. It's so gorgeous. Yes, Santa, of course. <laughs> you either need this one or if you're, I can't remember if you're a demonstrator now. Again, Xana's in the UK. Um, but if you're a demo now, Xana, you can order this one and or the new one, which are both gorgeous. Uh, this one's a different type of flower than the new one. So um, the last stencil, by the way, is the centers of the flowers. And I don't like how it looks on this because these are black. So it puts a color on top of the black. I don't just personally like it. I have used them though on other in other ways. There's different ways to use these stencils. This is just the basic one way. Okay, now see that's gonna tear my paper as washi tape always tears my paper. But we're gonna die cut this out so it doesn't matter. All right. Yes, Candy. I don't do stencils either, but the ones we have come out with in the last while are all uh not all i shouldn't say that but anyway we've come out with several lately that layer like this like there was a sunflower one that that you do layer after layer there wasn't even a stamp set on that one but it made these gorgeous sunflowers so the point is um i'm with you but this makes me want to use them because of the images it creates it's not just like a background which is fine and i did that recently on another video but um man what this does is like next level okay so now i always tell y'all die cut before you color because if your die slips you're going to be in trouble but you can't do that in this case because you need the excess paper to hold it down and and stencil I mean, I guess unless you glued this paper to something. But anyway, therefore, we have to take our chances and die cut after. <laughs> this is the stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you don't have it, you definitely need it. And here it is. It's so pretty. So pretty. The last time I used this in a class, we also colored these with blends. And then we made a black and white card, which is my last card that I'm going to show you all today is black and white card. So there's options. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab great gorgeous grape. Add a greeting here. Let's see, you want to get your ink from the edges, the corners, so that you can have plenty of ink in the middle for your stamping. I mean, obviously you can re-ink your ink tab, but still. Okay, what is this card going to say right here? You mean so much. No. Okay, apparently I put different choices. You mean so much to so many or holding you close in my heart. I'm going to put holding you close in my heart on this card. Yeah. Wait, you don't see great. No, you cannot put that on the card if you come in person. That's for the next card. Sorry, it says black. This is just holding you close in my heart. So pretty, so pretty. Um, okay. Simple, let's, oh, I have that ribbon. This is the silver sheer, I forget the real name, but silver sheer, hold on, I'm supposed to tell you the real name. Sheer. Silver and white sheer ribbon. It is a current product that's not going away at this time. So I'm going to grab my dark Highland Heather because Hello Stampin' Up! We don't sell a gorgeous grape Stampin' Blend, but we sell Highland Heather. So I'm using the dark one. Um, I'm going to lay this brush tip down flat and color this ribbon um and it colors the silver part as well i'm doing this on my glass mat so it's fine because i can just wipe off the excess with alcohol or um hand sanitizer but put scratch paper underneath if you do this 
on a regular table because it's going to go through and stain. This is alcohol based, like a Sharpie. I believe, if I remember correctly, I can't remember if I only did this on one side, but it's a sheer ribbon. Literally, it's sheer. So you really don't need to do both sides unless you want to grab the edges of the silver on the other side. But the middle part does not need twice. But lay it flat or you're going to damage the tip of your Stampin' Blend. And now it's purple. So pretty. Okay, so this card, now we'll put it together. You need that saying, Kim? Yes, girl, where's the stamp set so I can show you right here. So we've got, it's always been you. Love endures all things. You mean so much to so many. Holding you close in my heart and embrace the beauty of you. This is a gorgeous set. Um, in case y'all missed it at the beginning, you can't get the bundle right now. Like it, it will say it's unavailable. That is because these stencils are unavailable. They are coming back in May, which is not that it's less than a month away. The problem is the bundle pricing won't be available in May, but it's fine. It's only 10%. It's fine. <laughs> um, so you can order the stamp set and dies now and get the, the stencils um, when they come available in May or keep watching and they may come available sooner. That happens all the time. Okay, so I attached the purple designer paper to my card base. Now I'm attaching the crumb cake designer paper on, right on top in the center, but at an angle. So down to the left, up to the right. Then I'm going to attach the flowers flat because I want the greeting to be special and popped up. And just kind of putting them on here, kind of, how do I put them on here? Like this. So I guess they're more heavily to the left than the right. And then I'm going to put the greeting down here in the bottom right. So oh, hold on, it looks different. I'm trying to position it the way my original card is. Hold on. I just found that Stampin' Up! has a fact sheet about our adhesives. And I was reading it and it was like, Stampin' Seal is not repositionable. You can't peel it up. I was like, oh, well, I do. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be. I mean, it stays put. That's the beauty of it. Sometimes you can peel it up, but when you stick it back down, it does not come apart. Okay, I did a bunny ear bow earlier. I'm going to do another bunny ear bow with this colored sheer ribbon. Two bunny ears. You can watch that first bow if you need to know how to do a bunny ear bow. And tie this. Yes, Diane. She says, absolutely love the effect of the mask. I love all the masks that SU has done lately. Exactly. I was late to the game, Diane, so I didn't buy the... Uh, sunflowers and they're gone now they're retired of course but i regretted it after i used this one it's like man you should have bought those sunflowers <laughs> okay so i have this purple bow i'm going to put it down here on the bottom right area of the flowers at an angle and then i'm just going to place the greeting where it crosses over that um, dimensionals. I will do four dimensionals and maybe just a little adhesive right in the center where it might touch that ribbon. And I may need to trim this ribbon down. And that is, oh wait, I have gems, sorry. Remember how I showed you the packet at the beginning? It had those purple gems in it. That's what they're for, this card. 
and um, I need to add mine. So you'll just get the three single ones in the class packet. But I, and you might get the lighter or the darker because um, either one looks fine. And so to maximize my packet, we used both. So a large and a small top right and another small bottom left. On the the crumb cake paper. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, V. <laughs> Kim, that's so true about the sunflowers, but because I do this as a business. I don't buy retired stuff. <laughs> so I have to really, 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 really want it. Because if I show it to you, then you'll want to buy it and I won't have it available. <laughs> um, but for everybody else, yes, somebody's probably selling those sunflowers. Um, I'm trying to go back and see if I missed you guys. I'm sure I missed a lot of comments because I was looking at the down here a lot. Um, yes, Zana, you can definitely blame me. Whatever you buy, always blame me. Sherry, thank you. Mary Jo, thank you. Thank you, Mary. I'm glad you have both of the sets already. That's what I thought it said. Um, so you can start making things right away. Love Highland Heather and Lost Lagoon together. Yes, Joyce. Um, Ooh, Jennifer says, I love enduring beauty masks because I don't like coloring. Yes, yes. So, um, oh, um, these are the three cards I made on the video today. So I'm going to try to get my ugly stuff out of the screen. These are the three cards I made on the video today. And then... Um, so if you would like, a, I'm like, what am I trying to say? So if you would like a chance to win these, just make a comment on this video, even if you're watching this on replay and um, weren't here live, that is totally fine. YouTube, Facebook, all the stuff. You'll have a chance to win these exact three cards. But if you take this class from me, which I only have two packets left, but still, if you take the class, this is the fourth card we're going to make. And of course, I have a greeting option that does not say Mother's Day. That's what that other one was for. But um, you, I've seen, actually, the first person I saw do this was one of my team members. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? Um, you can take these flowers, whether you color them or not, and cut them right in half and glue one portion to the top of your card and one to the bottom. And it looks so gorgeous. So I did this black and white card. Um, it says Happy Mother's Day. I think it would also be a great wedding card or anniversary or literally anything. The greeting I'm giving them as an option in person is you mean so much to so many. But you could put your greetings from any stamps you own, of course, on there. Um, so that's the card class that I'm offering. Kim, I... She, Kim says, do you have a blending brush for each color or can you wipe them clean like sponges before? Um, so in my collection, I clean them in between. It, let me, what am I trying to say? I have probably, I'm trying to do the math, at least nine small blending brushes total that I own. And for example, I have these four with the colors we use today. When this class is over, or if I was making these for myself, when it's over, I would wash these out in the sink and then use them in any color I want. It wouldn't necessarily, this is just Jennifer, be a green or a blue or a purple shade. Um, side note, I put mine in a laundry bag and wash them in the washing machine with my chamois washing machine, not dishwasher, but you can rinse them in the sink as well and let them dry. Um, if you were sitting here making only this card yourself, I would think that you could start with the, ah, start with the lighter color 
and then wipe it off on your chamois, like you said, and go to the darker color and you'd be fine. In a class setting, I could not do that because it's too many people. The ink builds up too much. And it, even if I personally was making like 30 of these, I don't know about that because the ink builds up so much like to immediately be able to do it. But you might be able to. I don't know if anyone else has feedback on that, how you guys have done it. So let us know. But anyway, I'm not sure if you're asking Kim for the one card or for in general. But in general, no, I don't have one for every color by any means. I have about nine. You get three in a pack. And I started out with three. And then I'm like, oh, let me get another pack next time I place an order or whatever. Um, I have about nine probably. Plus, I do this full-time in-person classes, so I need more. Um, and when one gets dirty, I throw it on top of my washing machine until I do the laundry next with that stuff. And I will use a clean one. If I am in a pinch, I'll just go rinse it in the sink and dry it as good as I can on a towel. Hopefully that makes sense. Is the last card? Yes, it's only black and white. No designer paper, no embossing, like no dry embossing. It's just black paper and white paper. And thank you. Who said that? <laughs> GN. Um, do you have? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sue. Um, let's see. Corinne, thank you. I like the smaller brushes better. I do too, Marianne. So that's another thing, Kim. We sell, ah, I'm stripping my heater, y'all. <laughs> we sell, first of all, we sell this wonderful um, dye brush, uh, blending brush holder. And we have large brushes and small ones. But now that we have the small ones, I use the small ones way more. Because, you know, it's like the this. They fit both. They fit something large and small versus this only fits your larger areas. Now, this these large ones would work perfectly fine for what we did today. Perfectly fine. But I'm with Marianne. I do pretty much just use the small ones now. They're so cute, too. And these are the softest things you'll ever touch. But anyway, um, we have this cool holder, which as long as you get your the bottom in that little hole right there, they are amazing. I love this. Um, yeah, I, I kind of forgot to mention the large ones, Marianne. So good point. Um, OK, cool, Kim. So, yeah, you don't need a ton unless you you go crazy and you decide everything you do is going to be with blending brushes. Then you might change your mind. Carmen, you love the purple flowers. Yes, girl. There's my for my purple people. I got a little pink here for me, and that's for the purple people. Mary Ann. Pat says I do like the new stencils. Uh oh, I got you. Mary Ann's talking for Valley Chick. She's saying, uh, telling you to get the the stuff, the product. <laughs> thank you, Tina. All right, everybody. Well, thank y'all very much. More control with the smaller brushes. Exactly, Marianne. Um, okay, so y'all have a great week. Don't forget to go over to my blog. Ah, Rudy jumped up here. Scared the crap out of me. Um, go over to my blog and grab your recipe cards for the four cards I made today, which has the measurements and the supply list. Um, I'll put her on camera and then um, so you guys can say hi. Say hi to Brittany. Thank you. Uh, don't even. Oh, I think she was asleep in my bathroom during the video. She weirdly does that sometimes. Anyway, stamptherapist.com. You can get all the individual pictures for the three cards I made today. Um, recipe cards, supply list, measurements, all the stuff is over there at 11 a.m. Central, which is in five minutes from now. Um, yeah, see you guys next week. I will be here next week, and then I won't be here the next week, but I may pre-record something. I'm hoping to. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sue. Oh, my goodness. Yes, B, so sweet. She's literally over here purring and practically snoring. If you can see, she's, a, well, she's falling asleep. Um, thank you, Jeanne. 
she is a really pretty kitty. Hi, she's also funny. I'm pretty and nice until I start literally biting me. See what she just did, y'all? I don't know where that comes from. And then she calms down. <laughs> the biting is not nice. It's not playful. If you see me just put her down real quick, it got serious. Um, all right. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, everybody. Y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she ran and jumped on her table. Bye.